Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Brian Kelly, the LSU Tigers, go out and make one of the more impactful offseason moves that we saw across the college football landscape, and that is going out and bringing in defensive coordinator from the Missouri Tigers, Blake Baker, to take over this LSU defense heading into the 2024 season. The reason I think is this is, in my mind, one of the more impactful moves across college football as you take a look at this LSU team and take a look at this LSU team over the next couple of years, this offense is going to be absolutely elite, right? Now, Smyer in 2024, you have Bryce Underwood, DeCorian Moore, Harlan Berry coming in in that 2025 class. We don't have many question marks about what this offense is going to look like, but if this defense can take some steps over the next couple of years, you're truly looking at, in my mind, one of the most dangerous teams, not only in the SEC, but in all of college football, I want to take a deep dive into the Blake Baker defense that we saw at Missouri and talk about what he's going to be doing and providing for this LSU defense in that 2024 year. Extremely excited to get into this one. Before we do, just want to say thank you to you guys. And it truly has been a blast talking this program over the last couple of weeks, whether it's in the transfer portal, the high school recruiting, the deep dives into these position groups and the amount of support the LSU fans have shown the boys has been absolutely amazing. Cannot thank you guys enough. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Without further ado, let's get into this one. I want to start before we before we dive into Blake Baker and what he does on defense and pull up some of the film. I want to talk about two things that I'm most excited for in terms of Blake Baker coming to LSU. The first thing being the player development that you saw at the Missouri Tigers over the last couple of years on the defensive side of the football has really been second to none. And the Missouri Tigers are about to put five NFL draft picks into the NFL in that 2024 NFL draft. And that is a program that doesn't really recruit even close to the level that LSU does. And what does Blake Baker's player development look like when he gets his hands on some of the talent that LSU has on the defensive side of the football? We've been kind of saying, yes, did LSU – go through a lot of injuries, and lose some depth in that 2023 season. Absolutely. There were some aspects of the personnel that you want to see get addressed. That being said, the personnel was not nearly as bad as the product of the defense that you saw on the field. And I think you're coming in and expecting Blake Baker to kind of get some of these players developed. You take a look at guys like Mason Smith or a guy like Quincy Wiggins coming in out of high school as these really coveted defensive players. And you never really saw that development from a couple of those guys. You saw the development from Blake Baker at this Missouri program, putting guys like Darius Robinson, Teron Hopper, Ennis Rackestra, Chris Abrams, Reigns, all guys that are going to be picked in the NFL draft, all guys that were all SEC performers last year for the Missouri Tigers. The player development is probably the thing you're most excited about. The second thing before we get into the scheme and the film is what Blake Baker does with his personnel. And this was probably the biggest gripe that I had with the LSU defensive coaching staff last year is taking a guy like Carol Perkins, who has every single trait and capability of really taking over a game on the defensive side of the football and kind of sticking him in that off-ball linebacker role and not really letting him do what he does best. You watch the film from the Missouri Tigers under Blake Baker. You see their best players being put in positions to really go and impact a football game. You didn't see that from LSU last year. And I think Harold Perkins is probably the biggest example. And one thing I'm massively excited for, and I think Blake Baker's first uh, job when he steps into the LSU room is, all right, how are we going to let Harold Perkins be a true difference maker for this LSU defense? Now, I, I do want to get into kind of what stands out to me after doing some film study on Blake Baker and the Missouri Tigers. And the first thing that I think I'm most impressed with from Blake Baker is the scheme and disguise that he uses on defense, specifically on third downs, right? The first rep early in a game against South Carolina, third and eight, you're going to see them put, what, one, two, three, four, five, six guys in the box, show press coverage on the outside. And if you're Spencer Rattler in this Missouri, or South Carolina offensive line, you're, you're not really sure who's coming, who's going to drop back. You roll the film here, and they all end up coming. And they get to Spencer Rattler. They get a massive third down stop, and Missouri was phenomenal on defense all year on third down. Now the next clip you go to is again, staying with this South Carolina game, you see a long second and nine, right? Another kind of obvious passing situation, very similar look, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe even seven guys in the box as potential guys that are going to be coming 
against South Carolina and Spencer Rattler, you roll the film and you see them come after him again and immediately get to the quarterback, force an Aaron throw and force another third and long, which again, Missouri, phenomenal, forcing those third and longs, keeping offenses kind of off track. But the next play you see is a very similar look, right? The same disguise, the same look where you kind of roll it back a little bit and you see, we're going to get that play back up real quick. You see very similar look where you have a lot of guys around the football, but you're not really sure who's coming. And then this time, after kind of bringing a lot of heat most of the game, they only rush three, they drop eight. They force Spencer Rattler to drop his eyes. You come up and make a tackle, get another crucial third down stop. That's the type of stuff that really stands out to me with Blake Baker. And you go back to a lot of successful defensive coordinators across college football last year as a Michigan fan. I can speak to this. I mean, Jesse Minner at Michigan, a lot of the same type of looks, right? When you are at the college football level, you are going up against inexperienced quarterbacks and inexperienced offensive linemen. And the ability to disguise what you're doing and who's coming and who's dropping is a massive asset at the college football level. And that's something that I think Blake Baker does a phenomenal job of. You can tell a lot of quarterbacks, a lot of offensive linemen are just confused at what the defense is doing consistently under Blake Baker. The disguise in the different looks and the different pressure packages is something that I think is going to serve Blake Baker extremely well heading into that 2024 year. Next thing I want to talk about is how he rushes the passer. He uses a lot of games and a lot of stunts, and he had some linebackers that were phenomenal at blitzing the quarterback. And you're going to see here as you roll the film another third and long, they're going to bring a little blitz package here, bring in five guys. They're going to stunt these linebackers. And you're going to see the offensive line just kind of have a disaster picking this one up, and you end up getting a crucial third and long sack here to kind of ice this game away. And so another thing that I think is really, I think, incredible about what Blake Baker does is not only is he going to give you a lot of different looks pre-snap, but when that ball is snapped, he's going to give you a lot of different looks during that play. You're going to see stunts. You're going to see twists. You're going to see a lot of games up front that, again, at the NFL level, you see a lot of experienced quarterbacks and experienced offensive linemen maybe be able to pick up those pressure packages at the college football level. Again, as a Michigan fan, you saw a lot of opposing offenses really struggle to deal with those kind of looks because these are guys that are, I mean, what, two or three years removed from the high school game where they didn't see any of that. I think Blake Baker does a phenomenal job taking advantage of inexperienced quarterbacks, inexperienced offensive linemen. And he's a guy that he's not going to play that bend, but don't break style. He wants to create negative plays. He wants to create turnovers and doing all those games up front, disguising who's coming plays a large part in that Missouri defense playing at such a high level in the 2023 season. Last thing I want to talk about is when you have different offenses that do different things, it's important to be able to kind of change what your defense is doing. And that's another thing that you just didn't see LSU do a very good job of in 2023. Very similar looks, very bland defenses. LSU on defense last year was just playing not to lose, right? They weren't playing to impact quarterbacks, create negative plays. They weren't playing to win football games. They were playing to not give up the big play. But in certain situations, you'll see Blake Baker look at an offense and say, all right, where does this offense struggle? Specifically, Joe Milton. Joe Milton struggles with just taking what's there. And so instead of bringing heat, we're going to drop, we're going to rush three, drop eight, and make those throwing windows, (coughs) excuse me, really tight and force a quarterback like Joe Milton, who struggles with accuracy, to make those tight window throws and process the field. Right here, you're going to see again, just, (coughs) excuse me, kind of a basic cover two, we're going to crunch down those throwing windows and we're going to get a hand on this football, get a third down stop. And so I think that another exciting thing is when you watch Missouri from game to game, you see different looks, different kind of defenses, depending on what the offense is going to try to do. And I think that's what makes Blake Baker kind of a mastermind on the defensive side of the football. And I know LSU's paying him a lot of money. I think he's going to be worth every penny. You look at this LSU team, Heading into 2024, there is talent on this roster, right? The edge rushers, I think, have a lot more potential. And you talk about the development of the defensive line under Blake Baker and his assistants who are also at LSU. I mean, guys like Darius Robinson, guys like Isaiah McGuire going to the NFL draft, they get those edge rushers, right? They want to apply pressure. They want to create negative plays. And I think that's what excites me the most about Blake Baker. Yes, does this LSU defense still need some personnel help. Do I think Brian Kelly and Blake Baker might address that after spring practice? I certainly do. But I think the bigger story for LSU is 
getting a defensive coordinator that is going to play to this LSU defensive strength. He's going to look at this roster. He's going to look at the playmakers and say, all right, where do these playmakers have the highest impact at making those game-changing plays? Right, Guys like Harold Perkins, I think you're going to see Harold Perkins used a lot as a pass rusher because that's what Harold Perkins does best. This was one of the bigger offseason moves that we saw because, again, this LSU defense, if it takes a step under Blake Baker, is going to be a very dangerous team in college football. We'll continue to talk about this. We'll watch the spring game, evaluate a little bit about what we saw from Blake Baker. want to say thank you to you guys. It is truly a blast talking this program. Y'all do enjoy the content. Consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to y'all later.